So hey what's up guys, I'm Ed here. First of all, a very happy Eid to all of you. May you all have a blessed week with your family ahead and may God shower his blessings on you. So in today's video we have the Hello Watch 3 Plus and it has got a new firmware update which is the version 4.10.51 so if i go to settings and here go to general and system currently i am running the version 4.10.50 which was released on the 1st of april i have already made a review on it but in today's video we are going to update the hello watch 3 plus to the version 4.10.51 and after that we will take a look at the possible changes before we start the process if you are new here a subscribe to the channel will be highly appreciated and if the video helps you out make sure to hit the thumbs up button so now let's start the process first of all make sure that you are running the latest version of the application after that if you are on the version 4 then you need to make sure that you go to about and here tap on the qi fit logo and make sure that developer mode is turned off and if you're on version 3 then you need to watch this video first to update to version 4 you can find the link of it in the description box below so first of all tap on dfu upgrade and then tap on the stick icon after that it's going to start downloading the firmware file and once it's done it's going to install it on the hello watch 3 plus so let's wait for it to finish So now it has finished updating and the smartwatch has turned on. So now let's check it out. First of all, if I go to the menu and then go to settings, general and system. And as you can see, now we are running version 4.10.51 underscore 240410. So it is the latest firmware version which is released yesterday. But I was a bit busy because of Eid. So that's why I'm working on this video today. If you check the change log, it only mentions two changes. And if you translate them, it mentions that the problem with the Android's new messages cannot be received is fixed and the problem with the time zone display is also fixed. First of all, let's start from the languages. So far, I haven't noticed any newer languages in this version. But if you check out the issue with the Arabic and Farsi language in the notifications, then looks like it's still not fixed and it shows like this in the notification banner which is really disappointing to see. Some people are also reporting issue with Portuguese language. So here's how Portuguese is shown in my notification center. As mentioned in the change log, the notification issue with the Android devices has also been fixed and as mentioned in the update, it fixes the problem that Android's new messages cannot be received. So if you are using an android device let me know if the issue has been resolved for you or not in the comment section below the issue with charging is still there and my smartwatch won't charge 200 percent so another issue that a lot of people mention is that whenever you restart the smartwatch the application will ask you every time to pair it again and this might be a huge reason behind the disconnectivity issues and the smartwatch not receiving notifications and now it's time to take a look at the ui the newer screen or file has been working fine for me since the last update the hands are also moving correctly Correctly. and with the time instead of moving once an hour i saw some people in the telegram group reporting that this new screen or file causes restarting issues in the hello watch 3 plus i've been using this screen or file since day one and i haven't faced any issue with it and even since the last update I haven't faced any restarting issue because of this screen of tile. After that, talking about the notification center, the background still directly converts to black color which makes it look really weird. You still cannot go back from the split screen smoothly. And in the last video, one of my subscribers reported that you can actually pin your favorite widget at the top. Actually, you cannot directly pin it. What you'll have to do is, first of all, you'll have to tap on hold to edit them. So what you need to do is, tap then press and hold and then you can swipe it all the way up to the top to make it appear on the top just like this. So thanks a lot for mentioning this, it's surely gonna help a lot of people. Still if I choose a brighter watch face, you can see that the background of the widget speed also directly changes to the blurred version without any transition. Talking about the app history, I also mentioned it in my HK9 Ultra 2 Max review that the UI of the app history is not so good in the Hello Watch 3 Plus. You can see that the detailing in the app history is missing for many applications here and even for the applications which have little detailing, it's not looking so good. Now let's talk about the watch faces. Still, if we edit the watch faces, it won't remember the settings and as soon as you restart the smartwatch or power it off, it will erase it from the memory. So for 
for example i'm gonna edit this watch face i'm just gonna change the color to make it quick so now i'm going to restart the smartwatch i'm going to shut it down then wait for about five to seven seconds and after that we're gonna turn it and after that we're gonna turn it back on so now let's turn it on and as you can see here the wallpaper has been reset to the default settings so this issue is still there as i mentioned in the last video one of the head watch 3 user in the telegram group mentioned that it is because the settings are saved in the ram and ram is a temporary memory that's why when you restart the smartwatch it is deleted but i still haven't got an answer from anyone that why is the setting saved in the watch face feature why is it not disturbing the software but the watch face is going to disturb it we still have only app opening transition but no app quitting transition after that we still have watch OS transition when going back using the crown key but we have slide transition when you use the swipe gesture the icons do look good but in my opinion in the HK9 Ultra 2 Max the icons look close to watchOS on some places hello voice plus do give me the vibe that it can actually do better but these are probably some places where they are not trying so one of the hello watch plus user is in contact with the developers and they mentioned that they won't be working much on the updates now and this is because they have to work on other projects other smart forces and other bands so let's go to list view to check out all of the changes in the applications first of all let's check the pedometer so let me take a few steps in the room so I'm back now and I took around 54 steps and it counted 40 steps. Previously it was showing 58 steps here but remember it was just casual walking in the room and the results might vary when walking or running outside. If you check out the heart rate checker, it still continues to work when using the trail loop at the back and my concern is again the same. Whether the weight detection is not working fine or the trail loop is made of human skin. If you check out the ebooks, then we still do not have the option to move using the crown key and we still do not have light mode and dark mode option like the JS Hello Watch 3 Plus. After that, sleep tracker, as I mentioned before, shouldn't be trusted as it cannot detect if the smartwatch is on your wrist or not. It's probably gonna give you the values using the pedometer data. Where the application is still not updated and the text is still not so visible on this brighter background. On the calendar, we still cannot use the crown key to move and you'll have to tap here and here to move to the next and the previous months. In the music application, if we play a song from the database, then still the sync lyrics are not working fine and only shows three to four words instead of the full line. If if you go to photo album the pictures are still cropped but this is probably the best photo application in all of the replicas you can use swipe gesture to move you can use the crown key to zoom in and zoom out and let's see if the create as wallpaper function is working fine in this update and yes it is also working absolutely fine in this sound recording application still if you record a file which is lesser than five seconds it won't save it you need to record for at least five seconds to save the recording so now it is six seconds and here you can see that now the recording has been saved let's check out timer and when the timer ends we still have a longer vibration but no ring option and the calculator app is the best application in all of the replicas and it works 100% fine for this update it was again mentioned that the time zone application has been fixed but it isn't it still sets the time of your country as a Beijing time and shows all other times according to that. This is their third or fourth attempt I guess in solving the issue with the time zone application but it is still not fixed which actually makes me doubt the developers that do they even confirm the update before adding it in the change logs. So this was a full review of the latest firmware update of the Hello Watch 3 Plus. If you still have any questions let me know in the comment section below. If you would like to see more videos like this Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. And if this video helped you out, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, this is iMat. Peace.